So Cosmo Girl for President. Yeah. <laughs> what I wanted women to take away from the book is the title, Know Your Power. I wanted them to know their power. And while I don't think that anything I said in the book was particularly original, it's an experience shared by many women in America, I do want them to have confidence that at least in my case, it worked and I think it will work for them. <laughs> Power I have springs from the confidence I have in what I have set out to do. At the beginning and end of the day, a mom and a grandmother and I care about not only my own children but all children in our country. And that passion for children is what drives my engine and keeps me on course. And uh, I know that that job needs to be done. And I am in a position to, to uh, do that. So that's what, that's what drives me. The next generation of female leaders gives me so much confidence. They're raised in a different era, different generation. And not only are they raised differently, young men are raised differently as well to accept uh, all the opportunities and possibilities for women. It's not even an issue of acceptance. It's just the fact. That's the way it is. So uh, the level of confidence that young women have about themselves and their futures is quite different from my generation. And it gives me hope that, that it will even get better. What I see as a valuable, not only challenge, but contribution uh, that young women have today is uh, one that I see right here in Congress. I serve in Congress with uh, young women who are having babies, uh, raising families, and at the same time being women members of Congress, which is a challenge all on its own. And so they bring something very special, a voice not only for their generation, but voices for working moms in our country. Well, congratulations on you. Uh, what you are doing and the hopes and uh, aspirations and the preparations that you are making. I'm so excited to see you. You have no idea how exciting it is for me. I have four daughters. Parenting and working in Congress are similar in that they both require discipline, diplomacy, organization, and love of people. And it is, uh, I, I, nothing has prepared me more uh, for being the Speaker of the House or a leader in Congress or even just a member of Congress uh, than, shall we say, establishing working relationships at home as well. My biggest hope for my children, um, including my son, my four daughters and my son and my grandchildren, of which I have six grandsons and one granddaughter, is uh, my greatest hope for my children and my grandchildren is uh, that they be personally happy, whatever their field of endeavor, uh, whatever they set out to do. Uh, they don't have to measure their success by any public acclaim for what they do. It's their own personal satisfaction in life that means everything. And uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's that. It's the, the family you have, the friends uh, you cherish, uh, the peace of mind that you have uh, that is uh, the source of happiness for you and therefore your mom. My favorite part of the book is when I talk about my children. Uh, it's an indulgence. It's something that I could go on and on for, and maybe pe some people thought that I would. Uh, but uh, to be able to just even put pen to pad uh, to talk about them and what they mean to my husband and to me uh, is the greatest joy. I also love talking about my parents and my husband's parents as well. Oh, and did I say talking about my husband? <laughs>